Hello, it's Vidas Pinkavitros, and in this video, I will uh, show you uh, the main principles of uh, cut time meter. Here it is, cut time meter, and you're looking at the Contrapunctus one from the Art of the Fugue by Johann Sebastian Bach, BWV number 1080, and um, this Contrapunctus one is. Uh, is notated uh, and arranged for the organ uh, for p in four four, par par four parts and uh, with pedals um, you see cut time also known as alle breve meter alle breve meter is is such a such a intricate meter that uh, it has two beats per measure uh, if you if we count the quarter notes for example, in measure 5, 1, 2, 3, and 4, we can find that everywhere there are 4 quarter notes. But uh, in reality, there are only 2 beats, 1 and 2. 1 on this D, and uh, the second is on this F. And uh, this is because this is alle breve meter. Alle breve means uh, breve in Renaissance uh, period was the type of notation of, of, of the note, which in shape was very similar to, to the half note. Uh, half note. And therefore, uh, we have two half notes per measure, but only two beats. So one beat is equal one half note in this cut time or alle breve meter. Therefore, uh, com in common meter we, we have four fourths, four fourths or four beats, uh, each equal one quarter note. But here we have four quarter notes, but only in reality two beats, two beats. So, so when you're practicing a piece like that, like Contrapunctus 1 or any other piece which has cut time meter, and uh, you have to somehow figure out the correct uh, rhythms, right? And in, in many cases you have to count out loud when practicing, for example. In 4-4 four, four meter you would count 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and that's very simple but in cut time you would need to uh, you would need to count just one and two and one and two and one and two and so the last quarter note is and one and two e and da so therefore it's kind of um, twice as fast although the notes uh, twice as fast as the common meter or four four meter the, although the notes are written uh, for example in measure four just just like um, just like in uh, cut in uh, common meter S so we have uh, half note tied over with with the eight note and then three eight notes in 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 uh, normal for four meter we would count one and two and three and four and that's simple but here in cut time meter cut time meter we have one on f and on f and then two e and a uh. in in common meter we only say one e and the two e and the three e and the four e and the only when we have uh, the 16th notes here in cut time meter or alla breve meter 
we can do that when we see the eight notes so it's 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 notated twice as slow but performed twice as fast okay so that's the main the main thing uh, how to count out loud in in in, in this cut cut time meter of course uh, uh, when you're practicing when you're practicing very slowly it's quite difficult to do that because the tempo is really really slow for example let's listen to the beginning of this of this contrapunctus in a concert tempo and the 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 computer will play for you but um, i will be counting out loud in cut time meter okay and uh, later we will reduce the tempo so that you can really understand how the counting go goes here it is concert tempo one and two style here and now let's reduce the tempo let's let's do it not 50 but let's do twice as slow 24 from the beginning mistake here uh, here in this segment in this section because the texture was so 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 polyphonically complex but uh, never mind that you still understand that there are really two beats per measure in in cut time meter and four beats per measure in normal common meter or C or C uh, for four meter basically okay so if you find um, if you find this video useful go ahead and um, apply these tips in your practice when you're practicing uh, compositions with uh, cut time or other breve meter and of course don't forget to stop by my organ training site which is called secrets of organ playing uh, at organduo.lt where you can find uh, lots of tips, advice and training for organists and you can also get free organ playing advice and training by email just enter your first name and address and you will or you can start your training instantaneously so thank you for uh, watching this video
apply my tips in practice and I'll see you again very soon.